chapter acids and bases this slide presents the overview of the chapter let us know more about the natural indicators around us the special types of substances which change their color when come in contact with acidic or basic substances are called indicators these are used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic the following are the natural indicators around us they are turmeric china rose petals phenolphthalein solution methyl orange litmus solution click each tab to know more turmeric turmeric as an indicator identifies basic solution only its color changes to red when come in contact with basic solution its color does not change in acidic or neutral solution china rose petals china rose is a flower which has pink petals the colored solution extracted from it is light pink color when used as an indicator its color changes to green in basic solutions and dark pink color in acidic solutions its color does not change in neutral solutions phenolphthalein solution phenolphthalein is an organic dye prepared by dissolving it in alcohol its solution is colorless when it comes in contact with basic solution such as soap solution shampoo solution washing soda solution etc its color changes to deep pink color but when the solution is acidic or neutral it remains colorless methyl orange methyl orange is one of the indicators commonly used in titrations because of its clear and distinct color change it gives red orange color with acids and yellow color with bases litmus solution a litmus solution is made from a purple dye it is extracted from the lichen which is a plant belonging to the division talophyta the solution of litmus in distilled water is mauve that is purple in color this solution is called litmus solution litmus is available in the form of solution or in the form of stripes of paper litmus paper is available in red and blue colors a litmus paper is used to test the acidic or basic nature of a solution when a litmus paper touches an acid the blue coated paper changes to red similarly when litmus paper touches a base the red coated paper changes to blue here let us perform an activity to know about the nature of the substances click each tab to know more take a long magnesium ribbon use a sandpaper to rub and clean the ribbon hold the ribbon using a pair of tongs burn the ribbon using a spirit lamp or a burner collect the white ash in the watch glass take some water in beaker dissolve white ash in it Now test this solution by dipping the blue and red litmus papers. Observe the changes in the color of litmus papers. In this activity, we observe that the red coated litmus paper changes to blue when it touches the solution. whereas the blue coated litmus paper is unchanged 
Finally, we learned that the oxides of magnesium when dissolved in water form magnesium hydroxide. Similarly, oxides of potassium and sodium when dissolved in water form potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. All these are basic in nature. They would be soapy to touch. The table given below shows the difference between acids and bases. Let us know about acid rains. As the name indicates, the rain which contains excess of acids is called acid rain. When harmful gases like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide react with moisture present in air, they form nitric acid and sulfuric acid. These acids when dropped down on earth along with rain called acid rain. Acid rain causes skin irritation, inhibits germination of plants, causes corrosion to bridges and buildings. It changes the fertility of the soil, destroys plants and aquatic life. Acid rains are also witnessed in Andhra Pradesh state in Vishakhapatnam district. Here, let us perform an activity to know about neutralization reaction. Click each tab to know more. Take a test tube. Clean it using a clean dropper. Pour 10 drops of hydrochloric acid carefully in the test tube. Now, add 2 drops of phenolphthalein indicator solution. Observe the color changes. Now, add sodium hydroxide solution drop by drop to the test tube. Shake it well after adding each drop. Observe the change in the color of the solution. Keep adding the sodium hydroxide drop by drop until the color begins to turn pink. Once again, add drop by drop of hydrochloric acid to the solution mixture until the solution in the test tube becomes colorless. In this activity, we observe that there is no change in the color of hydrochloric acid while adding phenolphthalein solution. The color of the solution in the test tube becomes pink by adding a drop of sodium hydroxide solution. The pink color of the mixture solution becomes colorless by adding a few drops of hydrochloric acid. Finally, we learned that if we add excess base, that is sodium hydroxide, to acidic solution, that is hydrochloric acid, it converts to base. Similarly, we can change base into acid. We also learned that the effect of base is nullified by an acid. When acids and bases are mixed in definite proportions, they give a neutral solution. The reaction of an acid with a base produces salt and water. Let us know about salts. We have seen in the process of neutralization, both acids and bases 
or mixed in definite proportions produces salt and water. We also know that the reaction between an acid and a base is known as neutralization. For example, by neutralizing hydrochloric acid solution with sodium hydroxide, that is caustic soda solution, a salt, sodium chloride is produced. Production of salt depends on the type of acid and base. Note, all neutral solutions are not salt solutions. Sugar or starch solutions are neutral solutions, but they are not salt solutions. The following tables shows the use of acids, bases and salts. Find out from these substances they taste sour, bitter, sweet and salty by choosing correct one. The substances such as curd, grapes, lemon juice, orange juice, tamarind, etc. have sour taste. The sour substances found in nature are prepared artificially or called acids. The substances like baking soda solution, soap solution, etc. have a bitter taste. As these substances do not have sour taste, they are not acids. The substances which have a bitter taste and feel slippery, that is soapy touch, are known as bases. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Select a suitable answer from group B for group A and drop it in the bracket provided against A. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow-up work. Collect different flowers and prepare their natural indicators with the help of filter papers. Prepare red cabbage juice by boiling a piece of red cabbage in water. Use it as an indicator and test the acidic and basic solutions with it. Present your observations in the form of a table. Bring the soil sample of your area. Find out if it is acidic basic or neutral. Discuss with farmers if they treat the soil in any manner. Test your understanding of the lesson by taking the mock unit test. 